transfusion related acute lung injury. After learning, students should be able to understand the pathophysiology of the reactions, explain causes and effects of the events, select an appropriate laboratory investigations to help the diagnosis and monitoring of medical treatments. And the most important thing is to manage and select the best blood components for patients to prevent the reaction that may occur again. Transfusion reactions can be classified into two main groups, acute and delay, depending on the onset of the reaction. Both groups are also divided into immune and non-immune mediated based on causes. Immune-mediated reaction means that patients produce oral antibodies specific to red blood cells, white blood cells, platelets, or plasma, while the non-immune-mediated reactions are caused by other factors. Treri is classified as immune-mediated acute transfusion reaction. Treri is clinically similar to acute respiratory distress syndrome, including fever, chills, hypotension, dyspnea, cyanosis, hypoxemia, tachycardia, and new onset of bilateral pulmonary edema. Transient neutropenia or leukopenia may be observed. Treri can result in organ dysfunction other than acute lung injury, usually single organ failure. Symptoms occur within 6 hours of transfusion, and most cases become evident within 1 to 2 hours. To hit model is proposed to explain the pathophysiology of Treli. The first hit is patients' own inflammatory conditions which leads to activation of pulmonary vascular endothelial cells and priming of neutrophils, resulting in sequestration of neutrophils in pulmonary microvasculature. The inflammatory conditions including sepsis, surgeries, and massive transfusion. Second hit is the infusion of antibodies and all biological responsive modifiers such as inflammatory cytokines and oxidative lipids. These stimuli activate the prime neutrophils, resulting in pulmonary endothelial damage, capillary leakage, and pulmonary edema. Second hit may be antibody-dependent mediated, which patient cells are destroyed by passive anti-HLA, or anti-HNA from donor plasma containing blood components, or antibody independent mediated, which preform pathologic phase is activated by cytokines or biological responsive modifiers from donor plasma containing blood components. This figure explains the inflammatory processes in the lung both during the first hit and during the second hit, where the inflammatory processes are heightened than the first hit. Mediators of inflammation in the infused blood products, such as fresh frozen plasma, platelets, red blood cells, and cryoprecipitate, including anti-granulocyte antibodies such as anti-HLA or anti-HNA, and all cytokines and biological active lipids activate inflammatory cascades through polymorphonuclear cells, resulting in capillary injury. As shown in the second hit section of the lung, the capillaries are congested, endothelial cells are swollen and inflamed, and there is increased platelet deposition and aggregation. The interstitial becomes more enlarged. There is increased adherence and migration of neutrophils of activated adhesion molecules, including ICAM1, P-selectin, and L-selectin. 
alveola macrophage release inflammatory cytokines, including IL-1B, IL-6, and IL-8, and activated neutrophils release PAF, NET complements, and oxidant proteins. All this culminated in lung injury with non-cardiogenic pulmonary edema, causing hypoxemia, hypotension, pulmonary infiltrates, and fever. Factors influence in first hit is poor health status and all having inflammatory underlying diseases such as sepsis, hematologic malignancy, mechanical ventilation, massive transfusion, chronic alcoholic abuse, shock, acute renal failure, severe liver disease, and liver surgery. And factors in second hits are antibodies and all biological responsive mediators that accumulated in blood components such as red blood cells, fresh frozen plasma, and platelets. Four major transfusion reactions need to be differentiated from TRERI, including HTR, sepsis, anaphylactic reaction, and TARGO. Since fever and hypotension are common in HTR, ruining out hemorrhoids should be firstly performed, including negative hemorrhagic markers and negative direct anticoagulant test. Key distinction between TRERI and sepsis is Sepsis presents high fever and vascular collapse, not respiratory distress. In addition, in case of TRERI, gram stain and hemoculture should be negative. For anaphylactic reaction, main presentations are bronchospasm, laryngeal edema, severe hypotension, erythema and urticaria but typically no fever. Therefore, the key differentiation are fever and pulmonary edema, which are not associated with anaphylactic reaction. Clinical presentation of TARGO is very similar to that of TRERI, including respiratory distress and cyanosis, together with bilateral pulmonary edema as observed by chest X-ray but TARGO is cardiogenic and responsive to diuretic drugs. So, to differentiate TRERI from TARGO, volume infusion and diuretic drugs response are key points. When TRERI is suspected, HLA or HNA typing, together with screening of anti-HLA and anti-HNA are suggested. The positive anti-HLA in both donor and patient serum implicates TRERI. Laboratory investigations to confirm TRERI are First, positive anti-HLA or anti-HNA in both donor plasma and patient's serum samples. Three techniques with different principles for screening and identification of antibodies including Complement-dependent cell cytotoxicity or CDC Anti-human globulin CDC and for cytometric based indirect immunofluorescence Second, decrease in white blood cells or platelets may be found and in case of negative antibody screening Transfusion of long storage blood components should be discussed. This picture demonstrates the principle of CDC test. Patient serum is mixed with donor lymphocytes in an individual well along with complement and dye. If there is antibody in patient serum, antibody will bind to the cell surface with adequate density complement pathways are activated, resulting in cell death and uptake of the dye. Degree of cytotoxicity is expressed as percent panel reactive antibody or percent PRA. 
This technique is a tool that can be employed to approximate the risk of a given patient of having a positive cross-matching. Complement-dependent cell cytotoxicity or CDC is sensitivity limited. So, in case of low titer antibody, it can be overcome by increasing the incubation time using of the anti-human globulin enhanced method as well as additional watching steps. The complement fixing anti-human globulin will bind to any IgG presenting on the cells. This increases the chance of activating complement and increases the sensitivity of the test. This picture demonstrates the IgG detection by flow cytometry without complement fixation. The technique accurately detects the presence or absence of IgG on donor cells. In this test, patient serum is mixed with donor lymphocytes or conversely, and then reacted with a fluorochrome conjugated anti-human IgG antibody. Several antibodies with separate fluorochromes, particular to B and T lymphocyte surface proteins, can be added. Other markers supporting acute lung injury includes First, bilateral pulmonary infiltration as observed in chest X-ray Second, characteristics of hypoxemia such as partial oxygen and fraction of inspired oxygen ratio less than 300 mmHg and oxygen saturation less than 90% on room air and other clinical evidence Clary may present some signs and symptoms as observed in Targo. This table demonstrates unique signs and symptoms which can be used to differentiate Clary from Targo, such as fever, hypotension, transient leukopenia, less or no response to diuretic drugs, and is not directed to blood volume infused. Transfusion-related acute lung injury occurs about 1 in 10,000 units transfused and is the leading cause of transfusion-related mortality reported to FDA. It can be prevented by making a record of laboratory investigations and medical treatments of previously action, providing medical alert card and deferral of implicated donors, including donors with history of blood transfusion, organ transplantation, and women with history of pregnancy.